you want to save money right now, have you ever thought about using grocery coupons? Coming up are practical tips on how to get started, what to do with your coupons, and what to avoid so you do not waste money. Hi, I'm Amber Paxton. I work for the Asset Independence Coalition, which does free income tax preparation and financial education in Eaton, Clinton, and Ingham counties. We are at the Rite Aid in Frandor um, to talk about extreme couponing. Extreme couponing is uh, something that's very easy to learn how to do and it can be something you just spend a couple hours a week on or many hours a week and you can save as much as 40% or more on your expenses for your home by shopping using extreme couponing. I have some top tips for you. And one of those is my favorite tip, which is if you are doing a buy one, get one free, then you can actually use two coupons. The store considers you to be buying two products. And so this week at Rite Aid, there are a ton of buy one, get one freeze. What that means is if you can find a printable coupon, for instance, online, you can print two of them as long as there's not a limit of one. And you can use both of those to get both items for a less price. Stacking coupons is the best way to get the best deal. And the way that you stack coupons is to know that you can use one manufacturer coupon, one store coupon, and a sales price all at the same time. And we call that the perfect storm. So you can use a coupon that's in either your store's website or in their paper ad combined with a manufacturer's coupon combined with a sale. So for an example, if Kellogg's cereals were on sale at Meyer for $2.50 a box, and you had a manufacturer's coupon that was a dollar off of three boxes, and there was a store coupon for buy two, get one free Kellogg cereals, you could use all three of those at the same time, and that's the way to maximize your savings. When you can find really good deals, the key is to buy as many as possible as you can get at that deal. Now often it's limit four or something of that nature and you need to check. But what I do is stock up, especially on paper products. So I have a shelving unit in my garage that contains paper products, cleaning products, anything non-perishable that I've stockpiled. And what that does is it makes it so about every fourth shopping trip I do, I spend about half as much because I'm relying on my stockpile. Okay, let's talk about what not to do. What you shouldn't do is buy things just because you have a coupon because frequently the generic brand of a particular item will still be cheaper than the price of a name brand with a coupon and you need to be careful of that. The second thing is don't buy something that you would not normally buy and otherwise something you're not going to use unless it's free. Then buy it anyway and give it away. And you must be watching the register as things are rung up. And if a certain coupon doesn't work and you wouldn't have wanted that item at that price, then ask them to return it. It's, it's really not an issue for the store to be willing to do that, and we don't want you to end up spending money and, and feeling regretful on the way out of the store. So some of you may be wondering why we're talking about grocery store coupon, but we're standing in front of Rite Aid. And the answer is that you can actually make money here using extreme couponing. The, the reason is they have a Rite Aid Plus Up Rewards card here, and if you don't already have one, you should go into the store and get one. If you go to crazycouponlady.com, she has an extreme couponing at Rite Aid section every week. It's generally posted on Saturday night and it's for the following week. And that one will show you how to get about $20 in product every week for about $5. But what Plus Up Rewards do is they give you cash back on your next order. So you can use those Plus Up Rewards to use that to be the $5 you spend to get $20 in product and actually walk home with $20 in free product in a given week. So those are my extreme couponing tips. If you'd like more information or would like to know more about Asset Independence Coalition's other financial ed classes or to attend an extreme couponing class, just give us a call at 517-256-1466 or email me at aic.midmichigan at gmail.com.